So we're we'll in E minor, and the tune is more of a ballad sounding thing instead of a straight blues or a kind of a rock and roll thing. So, you know, if it was a straight blues, I wouldn't be playing too many of the, you know, I wouldn't play a lot of, I wouldn't play those type of scales. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to play through it, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm E minor, I'm just going to take a couple minutes to get comfortable with the playing over the chords, so I know kind of the phrase and the flow of the chords, the contour, you know what I mean, of the chord progression. So here it goes. We'll listen to it. Straight pentatonic scale, I can play blues scale. Same pattern. So that, then I think to myself, okay, this is E minor. So I can play all my... E minor pentatonic scale. Right? And then I would say, well, that's the same as G major. E minor and G major are the same notes. Mm -hmm. So then I would just sit there and go, okay, well, G major scales. And I play, ignore the pentatonic, put the tune on, and then play through all my G major patterns. Ah. All right. So all those notes are good. But that's the root, right? E. play, you know, through it nice and easy, make sure I know the patterns, and then make sure I know where the root is. Okay. And then I can just think to myself, well, if I just took a minute, I could see where they line up. Real simple one up top, right? If I'm playing pentatonic, if I was up here playing um, G major number seven, it's not going to be too difficult to say, oh, well, that's just number one pentatonic. Pentatonic. Here's a major. 
So one and seven lean over each other really well, uh, overlap each other really well. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, you know, if I look down here, I'm just starting down here because we did, let's say we did number one like this. You know, here's two. Pentatonic. What G shape is right here? Oh, number one. So here's G major number one. And pentatonic number two. Then the rest go three over three, four over four, five over five. Okay, now I remember. But you know that I write that down. But you have to play them. Yes. So you get used to it. You're playing in pattern number three. Pentatonic. And then you got to be able to say, okay, pentatonic. And there's number three. So instead of doing. Now I have just two extra notes. Here was number three. That's an E, G, uh, A, and B. E, G, A, B, and now the seventh note is E, F sharp, G, A, B, and C. And on a tune like this, sounds appropriate.